Welcome to Electro Online. In this particular problem, I was actually surprised that this was a JEE advanced question or problem because it was relatively easy. Again, it's only easy if you see what they're asking for and if you can think of the strategy right away. But here, let's read the problem and we'll go on from there. We have a nuclear power plant supplying electrical power to a village and it uses a radioactive material of half-life T years as the fuel. The amount of fuel at the beginning is such that the total requirement is 12.5% of the electrical power available from the plant at that time. So the plant starts out with a new fuel and at that point the village only requires 12.5% of the total output of the plant. If the plant is able to meet the total power needs of the village for a maximum period of n times t years, then n equals, and of course n is a number, an integer between 1 and 9. So here we realize that as the fuel is being used up, it goes through its half-life, and so after one half-life there's only half the fuel left, after another half-life there's only a quarter of the fuel left, so right away we realize that 12.5% essentially is 1 out of 8. So 12.5% is equal to 1 over 8. And so if you start out with new fuel, then you can see that after one half-life, T sub 1 half, so that's the symbol we use for half-life, you now only have half the fuel left over. So now you're down to 1 half of the original fuel. Then if you go to 2 half-lives, then you realize that half the half decays, so now you only have a quarter of the original fuel left. So now you only have, after two, uh, two half-lives, you only have a quarter of it left, and then after three half-lives, again, whatever was left here, half of that will now also be used up, so now you're looking at only having one-eighth of it left. So we have one-eighth left, here we have one-quarter left, here we have a half left, and here you have the whole thing. So we realize that after one, two, three half-lives, you're down to one-eighth of the original fuel. In other words, one-eighth is equal to 12.5%, which means your power output has gone down from 100%, down to 50%, down to 25%, all the way down to 12.5% after three half-lives. So therefore, since half-life is defined as t years, then n times t right here, that means n times t is equal to 3 times t, 3 half-lives, so n is equal to 3 is the answer. In this particular case, if you understand that, you could probably do this problem in a matter of just a few seconds, realizing 1 half-life, 2 half-lives, 3 half-lives is down to 1 eight, 12 half percent, n must be 3, and you move on to the next problem. So in this particular case, it's easy if you understood that and you remember that. And that is how it's done. What if you don't see it? What if you don't see it? You sit there and you have no idea how to do the problem. This is the only way to do it? This is the only way. It's to realize that as you go through the decay process, that each half-life, you only have half of what you had before left. So you go from one to a half, to a quarter, to an eight, to a sixteenth, and so forth. So it's the basic principle of radioactive decay and half-lives.